got it, but I lost grip. Come now! I can see his tail up there. Game girl! So much snow which I'm very excited about guys it's snowing and it's so calm and quiet I'm so excited that we're getting so much snow you can see that I'm a bit red but it's because it's a little bit cold it's not very cold I'm wearing my winter jacket which is too warm but you know I felt like I'd rather have one thick layer today than 14 thinner ones <laughs> Grim is very impatient here on the ground. He wants to go all the time. Yes, yes, we're going soon. We're on our daily walk, just enjoying the daylight and the snow. And it's beautiful. I love the mountain here. In here is Björn Dalen. That means Bear Valley. And this mountain here, if you go to the top of it, that's Fågelfjället, which is Bird Mountain. That's where I went hiking with Lynn a few videos ago. When it was still summer, but now it's winter. I think it's two degrees below today, so not too bad at all. Just very... Just very crisp. There's like... There, it was snowing so much before and now it's just kind of like slowly coming down. But it's beautiful. Grim's gonna be a trick. I brought really good treats for Grim today. So he left from goodies. We're just gonna go to the end of this road. It doesn't go very much further than this. And we're gonna go home and I'm gonna eat something. Just a regular day. Regular day. It's so quiet. I feel like I need to be quiet also. It's a bit, the wind is picking up. As you can see, I'm carrying a shotgun on my back, which might seem a little bit strange, so let's talk about it. Here on Svalbard we have polar bears. The studies say that we have a total of roughly 3,000 bears on Svalbard, but that is in the entire Barents Sea region, so all of these don't live in our archipelago, but a couple of hundred bears do. 
since polar bears can be very dangerous animals and have killed people before, we are required to carry polar bear protection when outside the village limits. At each end of the village, you will see this sign, which pretty much means that if you go any further than this, you should be armed. So how is the village completely safe from polar bears entering? Well, it isn't. But the government don't want people walking around armed in the village, which is why it is law to empty your gun when within the village area. But if a polar bear comes around, there are many places to go for safety and generally a lot more people around to alert to the situation. Now, has this happened? Yes. About a year ago, we had a bear come several times to the village, but it doesn't happen very often. In those cases, the government has been alerted and the bear gets chased away, usually by helicopter. But of course, it's illegal to shoot a polar bear. And it only happens in very, very rare cases where a person's life is threatened. So the gun on our back is always the last resort. If you are to meet a bear when out, the first thing you would try to do is remove yourself safely from the situation. You try to get to shelter, you call the governor, and if you need, you try to scare it off. We often carry flare guns with us, which is a very good tool because it doesn't hurt the bear and it makes a lot of noise. So if you ever get into a situation where you've shot the bear, there will be a full investigation and you will probably get a fine. So how often do we run into polar bears when out and about? Not very often, but the thing is that it is always a possibility. These videos are of a bear that I saw walking on the sea ice right outside our cabin last year, just in the same place as I'm walking right now. Our area always has a couple of polar bear visits each year, but they usually just kind of walk through the area or come to eat on something washed up on the beach. Like when a dead whale washed up on the beach and a mom and her two cubs could smell it from miles away and swam over to feast. Susulmanen, which is our governor, which is called Susulmester now, closed off the area and let them eat for a few days. And then they towed away the whale and the polar bear swam away. But some animals that we see a lot of while out walking are the Svalbard reindeer. These guys are so chill and very unbothered by our presence. So let me show you one of my favorite reindeer meetings. I was taking photos in the village and had just gotten out of my car and this one was like, hello, <laughs> don't mind me. So it's important to remember though that don't touch them and don't feed them because Santa takes good care of them. and cold. The wind is a bit chilly. Look at the mountains. That's beautiful. Fresh and good. This is beautiful. Can you go out there? Out or in? You just came inside. Do you want to be outside? Yeah, you can be outside. I 
I think it's fascinating just how quickly the seasons change here on Svalbard. So I thought we would take a look at what this view has looked like throughout October. So on the 3rd of October, it was still kind of summer, but autumn was definitely showing up. So we had some new fresh snow on the mountains. And then on the 6th of October, it had started raining, so everything melted. Then 8th of October, it had been snowing again, so it was all crispy and looked really beautiful. 18th of October, it didn't, we didn't have much more snow, but it was definitely cold and crispy. On the 21st of October, even more had actually melted from the ground, but the mountains were still snow covered. And then 24th of October, we had gotten some more snow and nice and arctic and crisp. 26th, yes, it had all kind of melted again, but the mountains just always kind of keep their snow. And then on the 27th, nothing really changes. And now we have some more snow. So as you can see, it comes and goes all the time. <laughs> hey, Minso. Hey, kitties. I... Okay, hi. Are you not? Look at this. Wow. This is incredible. Where there? What what do you what do you want? Oh this was cold. I need a jacket, one second. This is Christopher's <laughs> incredible winter jacket. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, <laughs> Okay, let's go out and look at the view with Grim, who is talking to us. Hey! Oi, where there? I think you don't have to call on the ladies. Look, the moon is out. And I 
Try 